Howdy, MB Flow Bart here. And just another quick update on what we're doing with the tutorial here. And quick recap. And what I have done is if you were to, the way we had it at the end of the last video, if you were to go ahead and hit the number one key, it automatically deploys the weapon in your hand and changes your animation. Well, we don't want to do that. Um, and then if you hit one again, it puts it back on your back, and well, you just got a free gun. So we don't want that to happen, and I've made some changes to the pistol that way, and I will show you what I did, and then I will show the, the fix on that, which is really, really easy, and the cleanup for it. So now, for the pistol, if you hit three right now, it doesn't do anything, no matter how many times you hit it. So now, you actually have to pick up the pistol, and for right now, it's going to put it on your side, and when you press 3 again, or press 3, it'll actually draw the pistol out and it will put it in your view. Hit 3 again, and it, but if you notice, it didn't take it off your hip. And been running to do, into a heavy wall on that. So we're going to do a, another fix that I didn't want to do, but we're going to do anyway. So you hit 3 again, and it puts you back into your unarmed state, and technically puts it back on your side. But here's what we're going to do, and here's what it looks like. Now, I've made some significant cleanups to it. So, here's what we're going to do first. We're going to come in, and up here where you're telling it to put the pistol into the holster, G17 the holster, we're going to go ahead and break that link, and we're actually going to delete that. So, we're not going to use that function anymore and we can actually come over here and that particular one it was called G17 to holster we're gonna go ahead and delete that as well we're no longer going to use that and this is another one that I had in here and I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that as well so now whenever you pick up your your pistol it will tell your character that it has one and since we're doing that we're not, we don't even need to do once anymore on that line so that'll shorten this line up considerably and let's go ahead and test what we've got here let's go ahead and compile and save but it does tell it that you have one so what you're gonna have having to do is you know how we had set three different sets in line here all I've done is I have combined the set unarmed into a function and this is all it is and we'll do that for the rest of them so you can see how I did it but all those are combined into a function so now it just takes up one little small space like that and it looks a lot better and I did the same thing for um, equipping the pistol and going into unarmed status. So that way, whenever you're going to unarmed, you can technically you can get rid of all of that and replace it with that. It's a lot easier, a lot cleaner, and yeah, this is what we're gonna do. So again, let's go ahead and compile, save and let's go ahead and play so now again brushing three doesn't do a thing walk over here we have picked up the pistol okay it doesn't put it on our side anymore but if I hit three it's gonna go ahead and give me the pistol and it's gonna use our animation that we had set up for using the pistol hit three again it puts it away and you go back to unarmed status so, let's go back into our player again, and what we've also done is, or I've done off camera, was, and I'm going to get rid of one of these I believe I can get rid of, I'm going to leave them for now, and then we'll do some cleanup later, but what I've done is, I have, from the flip-flop, you set the um, the equip pistol boolean, which is just the um, 
these things. And then we have spawn G17 to hand, which is right here. So the spawn G17 to holster, I don't think I'm going to need that anymore. Because it just is not working. So I'm actually going to go ahead and delete that one. I'm just going to do some quick cleanup. Yes, I'm going to make you watch it. But you can do some quick cleanup. And since we no longer have holster Glock as a variable, I'm going to get rid of it. So I'm going to quickly run through and make sure that I didn't kill anything. Because I'm good for that. So, okay, hitting three does nothing. Grab the pistol. It doesn't put it on my side, but it allows me to draw it out, use it, and put it away. So everything works. So let's start the cleanup of the rest of them. And I'll go ahead and comment that. That is our spawn Glock. And we're going to leave it there for now. But we're going to go ahead and, and move up here to rifle equipped. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to left click and drag across all three of these. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to collapse to function and we're going to call this set rifle equipped underscore B O L and it's just for me to to recognize that this is the the boolean function for setting rifle equipped okay and we know that we are working on our MP5 so now we don't need the unarmed we can delete that completely and we can replace it with this one right here and just link that in and then we're just gonna squish these together a little bit now these two right here were it's gonna spawn the mp5 I'm gonna go ahead and mm, yeah I'm gonna go ahead and copy this control C to make a copy of it because that's what we want and we're going to reproduce how we have this right here so I'm going to just going to left click right here control V I'm going to right click over here and I'm going to say custom event so we can add a custom event we're going to go ahead and call this spawn mp5 to hand Go ahead and link that in here. And it doesn't matter where you place it, I just want it to look clean. Now, the next thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and move this attached to component over a little bit. And we're going to come from the return value and we're going to left click, drag and drop, and promote to variable. And we're going to call this. Um, equip mp5 and you can actually change this one to equip g17 it's going to auto fix and update wherever it needs to go so you're good to go on that now after we created that variable we need to go ahead and, and drag the link in here and here and we're going to need to break this link right here. All I'm doing is holding the control key and left clicking on it and then clicking anywhere else. That breaks that link. That's one way you can do it. And I'll go ahead and do my cleanup on this. And now we have the spawn mp5 command all right here. Everything is set to good to go. And we're going to go ahead and put that in comment. And spawn b5 to hand so now we have this set up we have 
a variable created for it and this is now an executable event. So spawn mp5 to hand will come up here to where all this is and now we don't need that anymore. So all we need to do is make sure that we have set rifle equipped to boolean and then we need to go ahead and call that function that we just did spawn mp5 to hand and now that's it that's all we need for that part and we're not using the slot one anymore so in fact let's go ahead and scroll back up to where we were doing this before which was this conglomeration here so mp5 picked we're gonna go ahead and get rid of that and do once from that line and we can shove that back down and we don't need mp5 picked anymore so we can get rid of that function well this is just a, a lot of major cleanup but now what we need to do is we've already created in the equip mp5 is now a variable and we can use that variable here so to get rid of the mp5 the next thing we're going to have to do is as you can see what I did here I added a destroy actor in and I used the uh, variable that we we have for the, the G17 so I'm gonna go ahead and move this over I'm gonna drag off from the B pin and I'm gonna say destroy actor and that's good and now I can just go ahead and control click on equip mp5 so I can get a reference to it put it right there and nice and neat we can actually move all this up and all that room has been freed up and let's go ahead and compile save and let's test out the mp5 so now if I walk over the clock it's just going to disappear we're good to go If I walk over the mp5 it disappears and goes away now we can hit the number one key and we don't have an mp5 and then yeah so let's go ahead and clean that up we got an error and in the error message log attach to and yeah we'll take a look at it just means that we left off something here and we did we for, I, I forgot to pull that pin across and attach it to the target so let's go ahead and compile and save again that one little thing is what caused a problem so now if I hit the number one key it's removing it fine and adding it in but we forgot one thing as you can see what I did here branch and has G17 and you remember the the has boolean variable that we created before I'm gonna go ahead and expand this out just a little bit grab these slide them over I'm gonna come off of the pressed I'm gonna do branch slide that back over there slide these back over just to make it look nice and then we need to do is for this branch we need to find has mp5 and drop it in and get it connect that up to there and now it's going to check to see if we have an mp5 and prevent us from being able to cheat our way into having a free gun so hitting one does nothing now hitting three does nothing two is still broken but we're gonna fix that next 
So now I can hit three and I got a Glock. And hit it three again, it puts it away. Hit one and it draws out the MP5, hit one again and it goes away. Now one of the things we are going to have to work on after we fix the AK to where we are now is, you see I have the MP5 out, and then if I hit the number 3 key, uh, I still have the MP5. So that's the next bridge we're going to have to burn, but, I mean, uh, cross. But let's go ahead and fix this one. We can go ahead and do this. We can highlight all three of those. We're not going to need those anymore. So we delete that, and we're going to bring in our set rifle equipped connect that and while we're here let's go ahead and since we're working on the AK we're going to go ahead and get a has AKM reference we're going to go ahead and get a branch node and we're going to go ahead and start hooking those up coming off the true to the flip-flop Connect the AKM, has AKM to here, and now it's going to check to see if we have one before it'll let us get one and equip it. And again with here, I'm going to control C to copy these components. I'm going to go ahead and delete them. Come down here, control V, come over here, and we want to right click and create a custom event. We're going to call this spawn underscore AKM to hand. So it's similar to what we already have. So we'll go ahead and connect that. We're going to go ahead and drag this guy over. We're going to left click on the return value from the spawn actor, promote to variable, Connect it here, connect it here, and control click on there to get rid of that. We're going to move our mesh node up just a little bit. Move this over and connect the target. And since I did not name that, we need to come down here and click once, click twice, and it'll let you quickly get in there or you can click on it and hit F2 and we're going to call this equip underscore AKM so that is done so with that done we can go back and finish cleaning up the rest of the AKM so we don't need that we know it's going to be an unarmed status. So we can come over here and find set unarmed. And go ahead and connect that to there. And go ahead and do some preemptive cleaning on that. We don't need that. We need to go ahead and set rifle equip boolean now we need to go ahead and do spawn AKM to hand connect that in we'll go ahead and move this over and here we're going to go ahead and put destroy actor and then we're going to get our reference to equipped AKM and that should be it for this one and we'll go back and clean up the other part here shortly and then we'll 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 do a quick test on on a theory on getting rid of the weapons Alright, so that is that on those, and we'll use our Glock 17 as our test bed. So we can move that up here, 
And this is doing a lot to help us get cleaned up on a lot of things too. Um, and now, anytime we want to spawn these weapons, we have the ability to spawn them. We have the slots that are on the back, but, you know, we'll see what we got to do to, to create that again later. We just want to get some functionality and being able to spawn the weapons to our hand, changing our animations, and then switching between the weapons. So if we come back over here, we no longer need the do once and the AKM picked. And we can scroll back over here, close that up, and then we can come up here, AKM picked, and get rid of that. We could have used those functions in what we are doing before, but by using it as I've done now, uh, I have created it as a usable function that we can call anywhere. So, let's go ahead and compile, save, let's go back in here, and let's run over all three, let's actually hit one, two, and three, nothing, doesn't do a thing. So I run over the AK, MP5, and the Glock. So now with the AK, I hit the button for number two, and now it's equipped, hit it again, and it puts it away, and puts me back in melee mode. So as you see, as I'm running around, I can just equip it and unequip it, and it changes my animation modes. So now I want to test one thing and try to prevent from having all three guns out at one time, because that could be a little bit problematic. All right, so I'm going to run back into player underscore base, and we're going to take a look at this. And now that we have all of the other guns set up to destroy actor equipped AKM, I'm going to test this with copying these two. I'm going to drag the unarmed out and I'm going to control V. I'm going to paste this back in. I'm going to link it up and make it halfway neat just in case it does work. Which I highly doubt it, you know. I, I've put about two and a half hours or more into just trying to get around this one fix. And I'll do the same thing with Equip MP5. Paste that in here. Go ahead and link up. Now, I would certainly hope that it works, but you would think it would be so much easier since. It's so easy to equip something to a, the the socket. Okay, I want to spawn actor, and then I want to attach it to a component, which is a socket. You would think there would be a really, really simple way of removing it from a socket. It just, it's not. That or I'm just not smart enough to figure it out, and it's probably both. So, compile, save. Now, what we're hoping for is no matter if I have the MP5 or the AK out, then it's going to try to delete them, which that's not going to work. I would have to put it on this line, and one thing that I was running into problem-wise, and I'm going to go ahead and break this, and break this, the reason why I say that's not going to work is because whenever I'm hitting three, this is actually to, to get rid of the pistol that I have in my hand. So that's not quite going to work. So instead of getting completely out of whack here, I'm going to make it look ugly, but good enough for a function test. I'm actually going to go ahead and drag the link from the A pin down to destroy actor and... Hmm. No, it's um. I want to try to get this to work first shot, and I highly doubt that it's gonna work on first shot. But let's go ahead and run a branch node. So with this branch node, what I'm gonna do is. If I own an MP5, and we'll use the MP5 as our, our variable test here since it's the number one. Come on. If I own an MP5, destroy the actor. 
and we're going to get has mp5 from here and then if I don't have one then I'm just going to bypass the destroy actor and go directly into that so compile and save and if it doesn't work it's, it's easy for me to, to clean back up and I'll come up with a different way of doing it so we have the mp5 we have the glock we do not have an AK so hitting two does nothing I hit this and I can pull the Glock out and put it away I can hit one and okay no problem I have the mp5 and I can put it away so I'm gonna pull the mp5 out and then I'm gonna switch to the pistol and as you see it did work it destroyed the mp5 and allowed me to have the pistol so that being the case let's find out how it hates us because as you know it couldn't be that simple accessed none trying to read property equip mp5 function uh, this is the problem that I've been running into is is errors left and right and fighting with this for for going on three hours just trying to get this to work correctly um, it doesn't like to destroy actor node for some reason it works I'm gonna ignore the error and let's go ahead and we have this working so we know that it, it does work to this point and let's go ahead and test it with the AK and see what happens but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be the same kind of deal we just bring our destroy AK M up and we're gonna run from destroy actor we're gonna run a branch I'm leaving this in, in the video. It's going to make the video a little bit longer, but I'm going to break that link. I want you to see the, the kind of headaches that I run into trying to get this figured out. And this is, you know, this is quick and easy stuff here. So with that branch in place, if I do have an AKM, I'm going to destroy it. Now, again, from if I don't have an MP5, we're going to go straight to the equip boolean. And if we don't have the AKM, which we need to go ahead and get a reference to it, has AKM. So now it's going to check to see if we have an AK or if we have an mp5 and if any of those are out it's going to get rid of them and then put the glock on our hand and I, I know it's going to give me an error again but at this point I'm just not in the mood to care all three guns so now we have glock works by itself AK works by itself mp5 works by itself so now MP5 to Glock works fine. Put the Glock away. Go to AK to Glock works just fine. But if I go back to the AK and by hitting number two, it didn't work. And yeah, it's going to give me the error message. And it's the same thing we had before. It doesn't like the. Um, the destroy actor in the location that it's at. For now, we're going to let that be the workaround and let it just go ahead and give us the error. I don't care. But that is one way of getting the weapons to actually switch. Um, I could technically do this for all of them and it would work fine. But for now, if we were to actually want to switch, and this is not an effective way of doing it, and we could force it to say if I want to go to the mp5 well I can't because I have the Glock equipped I would have to manually put the the pistol away to grab the submachine gun 
and I have to manually put that one away so I can drag that out. We don't want that. If I have the pistol out and I want to go to the MP5, or if I have the MP5 out and I run out of ammo, and I just want to go to my pistol, I just want to switch to the pistol and not have to worry about it. I can use the pistol and just switch rapidly back and forth. And as you're going to see, every time I try to do this, it's going to give me a whole gaggle of errors. So if you wanted to do this method, that's fine. Um, if I remove all of this and bring it back to the way it was before, it's going to work just fine. Grab those two, bring them back over here, link that back up, and that's what's going to happen is, and I'll leave it in this condition right here, so if you want it for the manual switching for now, then I would say stick with this, and I will come up with a better way overall, that once you've gotten all three of your weapons, and you want to switch between one and the other, then I don't want you to have to put one away to grab another one. So doing that, no errors, works fine, we're good to go. And tomorrow, which I'm not going to do any more videos today, uh, tomorrow I will work on a more effective way of switching between them so you don't have to manually do it. And hopefully, get it knocked out and I get that video put out early because we're only a couple days from Christmas and I don't want to be sitting here unless I actually have to. Well, yeah, actually I do, but anyway, thanks for watching this video and hopefully you'll pick up on a few things that I'm doing here so that we can try to get our blueprints looking clean, slim, and only having in what we have to have to get things to work correctly. In fact, I could probably end up cleaning up this a little bit more too, but Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for the next video, and we will get this working a lot smoother. And then we'll start tackling the animations. We'll start tackling the, um, the animation transitions so that it looks more fluid and cleaning up what we have. All right, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.